Hello, this is James, also known as VaderFan777, my old YouTube channel. Um, I'm now part of Daily Star Wars Collecting. I was admitted by Josh about about Tuesday, and I'm very glad to be part of this group. A little bit about myself, I'm 15, and I live on the Eastern Seaboard. I really love Star Wars. I've been collecting since I was about six now. Uh, what first got me into it, my grandma bought me the DVD of Attack of the Clones, and when I first saw it, I was just immediately hooked on Star Wars. And before, like, the Clone Wars came out, I collected a few of the figures. I was mainly focused on the Legos, until I realized I kind of sucked at building them. Never let a ten-year-old child alone with a hundred-dollar Star Destroyer Lego. Not a smart move. Whatever. Anyway, so I started collecting the more solid Bill Hasbro vehicles and figures. And then I kind of dulled down my collecting a little bit until about 2008 when the Clone Wars figures started coming out. And since then I've gotten at least 90 Clone Wars figures. I've really started collecting a lot more with the movies thanks to the Vintage Collection. And I keep all my Star Wars figures in bins. I don't have them in shelves yet. We're renovating my cellar so they will be all on shelves very soon hopefully. I have well over 20 vehicles from Clone Wars and Saga. I have tons of stuff to review because my birthday was a couple months ago and I just never got it up on my channel. Um, just very... I think that my collection on a scale of 1 to 10 for largeness at least maybe about a 6 maybe on the 4, maybe 5. I mean, it's not the largest on YouTube obviously that like goes without saying because all the older collectors but I think that mine's getting up there. I've really started to collect a lot more, and especially with Christmas coming up, I'll be getting a ton more stuff, hopefully. I have a lot of the newer stuff, especially. I got the new Y-Wing, the Clone Wars Y-Wing, and I also have a bunch of old stuff, like a bunch of old puzzles back there that I got from my aunt. Now, lately, I have been able to get a couple new stuff, but, you know, that's just because I happen to run into cash once in a while. You never know. It's always a good thing to have those holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving in there. We don't quite get a lot, but you get just enough. I don't get to review all the brand new stuff because I just don't have the money for it. Next year, I'll have a job, and then maybe I will have the money for it. But, you know, stuff comes up. What are you going to do? Um, all my Star Wars stuff is in this room and in the closet over there. Uh, I have a ton of stuff. I'm looking... My next big buy for Star Wars will be the new Falcon. Well, not new, but, you know, the 2009 Legacy Falcon. Running a lot of money on eBay. As you can see behind me, this is my um, review setup here. I got my bamboo, some just Star Wars stuff back here, random stuff. Some of it I got in New Hampshire, some of it, you know, I've just had. And other than Star Wars, I really don't collect anything else. I mean, I used to do the Legos, but when I realized I couldn't build them, I kind of stopped. Um, I don't know if you can tell probably not by my room, but I'm a huge Boston sports fan. Um, Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, Bruins, covered. I started liking them, you know, quite a while ago, like 2003, but that, this is not about that whatsoever. Um, lately, in my cellar thing, I've really started to get moving on that. We're almost at the painting stage. And collecting-wise, other than the Star Wars toys, I collect books, puzzles, trading cards, really you name it, in the Star Wars logos. If anything's on it, I got it. That's what I'm trying to build. Lately, I've really been trying to get the um, carded figures. I've mainly just did loose figures before. But now I'm trying to get carded figures into the mesh, or whatever you want to call it. I got the um, 2010 Rocket Fire and Boba Fett and to the Power of the Force era, Power of the Force 2 era figures on the card that I do hang on my wall. Plus I got Han Solo back there, if you remember that from my first Stormtrooper review video on my other channel. Just to give you um, a little example of what I have here. This is my saga bin. Um, I keep it all um, Designed by movie. All my bins are by movie. This is how I organize all my stuff. This has really taken a big jump since the vintage collection. As you can see here, I got Sand Trooper. One of my newest, and I think one of my favorite figures I got right now is Dengar. And the newest thing I've gotten is the new Tauntaun Battle Pack. This is obviously just the Tauntaun, but 
you know, I'm glad I got it. You can never have too many Tauntauns or Stormtroopers. So that's just bin one of my three bin sets I got going here. I'm not going to show you the rest now. That'll be in like a collection update video. You know, I really have nothing more to say. That pretty much covers my life in Star Wars collection. Like I said, I don't really run into a lot of money, but when I do, it's going right to Star Wars. Um, I'm dealing with school right now, so I'm glad I got the Friday day slot. And every Friday, me and Wampa Slayer 111 will be on daily Star Wars collecting, posting our videos. So, this has been my introduction. Thanks for watching this, and may the Force be with you.